talking. Funding for amphitheaters has been received. The Deputy Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Mark Kukwekumante, shared promising news regarding the completion of five amphitheaters planned across Ghana. Speaking in an interview on Daybreak Hits on November 21, he confirmed that the necessary funding has been secured and contractors are set to resume work. Please, spare me a few minutes of your time and hear the minister speak. To Andy, mm -hmm. again, when you are lucky, like Dr. Mahmoud Baumia was, who was able to suggest to his boss, President Nanadam Kwekufado, then your boss will give you jobs to do. That is what about me. I said, I can boast of Ghana card. I can boast of this. I can boast of that because President Ekufado allowed them to do it or to do them. So for me, as a Krekumante, I said that we we're going to build amphitheaters. It was my baby. It was my idea because I put it in manifesto 2016 when it was Anabo Ekobochi chairing the committee. Subsequently, Anabo Katrafiku comes in. <laughs> Honorable Barberton, you see, these things didn't happen. So as a deputy minister, who put that in the, in the manifesto? I thought it, it was prudent. It was the right time to convince my boss to have this done. Again, if you say Okrekumante is the worst, it means you are comparing. True or false? Mm, if you say worse, of course. it means you are comparing. Right. Good. So if you are comparing, tell me the past deputy ministers against me. I have told you that I'll, I'll build a, an amphitheater, which my boss has given me the green light that we should do. I'm the one who actually cast sword, launched the amphitheater in Kumase. Tell me the past deputy ministers you have known, what they have done against me, then we can talk. Then it means you've done something. That's what I'm saying that. That's it. I'm showing you how the structure works. The deputy minister can do something if your boss agrees that you can. Okay, in, in the case of amphitheaters, just as you were mentioning, that... But I'm in radio. No, 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 no. Compare. No. No, I want us to go no, no, step no, by we, step. We're waiting. No, we, we're waiting. No, 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 not this one. No, I'm I am waiting for him. No, 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 you Before wait. I even ask my, my next question. That but people are comparing, and I'm saying that. Compare me. That's why we compared what about me to the previous vice president. And that's why we say he's the best vice president. We compared. So if you say he's the worst, it means you're comparing. No, no I'm not... My brother James said was a deputy minister. Right. Anabu Jifa Gumashi was a deputy minister. Yes, both of them under NDC. You can talk about those who... Anabu Ziblim was a deputy minister. And Anabu Katrafiku. All of them, tell me. What you think you can say that they did it? Like you are all holding me to amphitheater. Because you are going to amphitheater. Tell me what you can hold them to. Uh, uh, listen, uh, Honorable, I understand you perfectly mm. well. However... You mentioned that you take instructions from your boss yes. and there are certain things you, you may not be allowed to. True. Right. In the case of the amphitheaters, where we all felt like there were promises that it will she, be... My worry with... No, 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 please let me finish. Finish that, that one. Oh. Don't forget I sat in this chair years ago just like you. I have asked you, let's compare. Oh, Com I said I understand you. Against what, what else is there to compare? Do you have anything that they did? against me that i become worse no that's why i i said that oh then it means you've done something or i'm telling you no. i am the only deputy minister in that ministry that you can even pinpoint something and say let's ask him for he is responsible mm -hmm. i am the only one and you just mentioned that for example the amphitheaters yes and we commend you for that <laughs> however there were promises that it will be ready they are not are yes. they they are not why okay I've answered this question, sir. Yeah, but for the, for the benefit of our dear I'll just let you go to explain that. Because you've been here, sir. But the good news is. Oh, okay. Oh. I hope it's not me. Okay, I'm sure it's you. So if you can. Okay, let me check. If you can put it in your. Thank you very much. It's me. Maybe they're giving me answers. Yes. So amphitheaters, about 60, 70% done. And then we got short of budget. You know what we've been through as a country in the past two years. Um, IMF and, you know, and I wouldn't say even a, a, a country. I would say a globe, what we've been through. It's, it's affected those of you who travel outside Ghana. You know how much you're paying for hotels. You know how much you're paying for food and all of that. Ghana got its fair share of that 
problem. And so it affected us. And so it is not just the amphitheaters. It is most of government projects. So you, you see that we are now getting some funding to finish, like the East Legon one is ready, the Junction Mall interchange. We, we pray we are able to finish um, um, the Insaom, Insaom Accra Highway is ongoing and the, the funding to finish the amphitheaters are in. That's the good news. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. That's the good news. This is Pits. Finally, the funding for the theaters. Adam, let me start with you. I'm sure you were here when the Honorable Minister made this statement. Yeah. <laughs> I, <have some> more. <laughs> I mean, I don't know whether to smile or whether to, because like we are how many? I mean, days to the elections, like twelve well, days to the elections. Oh, honourable, by now, quite no get time to go and supervise or other people in the ministry. Why? She? So why? I mean, the the sort they cut sort for this in twenty twenty three. And at a point, I remember he went on an interview on uh, platforms in Kumasi, including uh, Love FM, and he was very categorical that a certain World Bank money is ready. A certain uh, the money is ready. 2023. 20, 20, then the money which was ready, all of a sudden, we got to a point the narrative was lack of funds. Lack of funds, a store, it's a store in the project. Then we get to a new narrative now. The money is ready. I mean, yes, he has done certain things. He said certain things. Like he said, this is his baby. And regardless, we're going to see it happen. However, I mean, because it's about trust and the people, we need to be very... I mean, circumspect with the promises and the way we go about letting the people be aware of what we want to do, what we are doing for them. When we tell them and it doesn't come through, at times we should be, I mean, accountable enough to say, oh, yes, we said this, it didn't happen, sorry. But this is it. But if we make it look like it didn't happen by still, yeah, 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 who say, oh, we are sorry for this, but if say a force the new narrative, it becomes difficult for, for it to enter because it's like they are still in disbelief, you understand? Because at a point where one was categorical, recently I think uh, a media house went to one of the, is it Joy, went to one of the facilities in a crown theater and the people told them, when the people, the contractors me, left left the area, uh, the, the site, for a couple of times. And if they are mobilizing back, by the time... During the, during the debate. Yeah. Okay. By the time they are done with the mobilization and that thing, you are too abandoned mm. Yes, it will happen, but you know these contractors, when they, after the election and something happens, they may even leave. And if you are not careful, we've seen projects which have been there for ages. Look at the number of years it took for... Legon uh, uh, Sports Stadium to be completed. It started under Kufo's time. So some of these things, it rather bring more cost to the country. You understand? Because, I mean, inflation is always running. This is always... 2023, if they had completed it at the time, they cut the sword. Maybe, I mean, look at 2023 to now. Check the dollar rate. So the things they are going to buy, certainly the cost will go high, go up. So it means it will cost more now than 2023. So we beg them. I mean, they should attach agency to some of these things. It's all money. Because, I mean, when cost goes high and other things, it, it becomes some way. But now, because of some of the things in the past, I even remember in Kumasi was asking them to read his lips and all that. So now... Another promise has come. The can say, yes, yeah, because at the end of the day, when it happens, it's for the good of the industry. But this time around, we want them to fulfill their promise. We don't want to be told another narrative. And yes, I dear, 
Anyani Akekayaji. Yeah. Andy. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, Rob, you were not here. Were... No, I wasn't here. But you heard. I am hearing. <laughs> you are hearing. Anyway, you just heard the minister speak. So. Yeah. Okay. So I think, well, this is um, almost, hmm. it's a conversation that has been happening. And this is just um, one part of it. So I'm going to refer from the past. I think that um, for me, with respect to project management, there are key, uh, three key things that you always have to look for. Um, TBQ. So it has to be on time and it has to be within budget. And in terms of quality, you have to ensure. So those are the three cardinals or cardinal points of any project that you want to manage, essentially. And evidently, if budget has become an issue, then it means that the budgeting had um, it wasn't done properly, so to say. And then that also goes to impact the time because we're not able to deliver um, based on the projected timelines that you are looking for. And, you know, some of these things too, at the end of the day, if budgets is not looked at properly, it can also affect the quality. So these are three key things you always want to be able to manage. Um, I think that it reveals whatever happened and maybe how it was managed. But what is important for me is the fact that now, Money has come in, and we need to be sure that it is, you know, it is, it's enough to finish what it's supposed to finish, and within a, spe a specified time, we need to be able to work with that because the timing issue became one of the biggest challenges that we had because at some point you couldn't, you know, you promise a particular timeline and it doesn't happen, and so communication management became a challenge, and expectations were raised, and eventually it couldn't happen, and then it had to be over-explained in terms of why we didn't get what we wanted to get. So, um, if 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 there's some form of solution right now to mitigate a problem, I think that it should just be put into perspective, and let's just get back to the drawing board. Let's be clear on um, is there money enough to be able to finish the work it's supposed to finish? Can it finish everything? If yes, then please, let's go ahead. And in terms of timelines, we will need something that's a bit more accurate to be able to work with and our expectations to be managed. So if if the estimation of time is two months, you tell us three months, we know more. <laughs> Just so that, <laughs> you know, after two months, we are not on your neck about it, you know. Just manage expectations. I think if we are able to do that, we'll just limit the kind of pressure that we, we, we put on. But obviously, we are also expecting the best to be done because um, I believe um, we deserve the best. So essentially, yeah, these are my points. <clears throat> Andy, honorable Mark, I <laughs> but that's not what he said. All, all, um, but amphitheaters, okay, in this case, you are, you are not a builder, number one. <laughs> You've not been a deputy minister before. You've not been a deputy minister before, Child. number two. <laughs> number three, you, uh, the, the thing, they know they use cement if you are prefab. Yeah, that prefab. You this buy this one is not prefab. You know, buy prefab before. <laughs> you know, buy prefab. <laughs> <laughs> so you are not qualified hey. to have any input on this issue. Hard statements. Yeah. But we, we will still talk some. And you talk so much. Mm -hmm. So Very I promise. <laughs> Andy, um, yes, we, we've heard the money is in. Right now, I believe everybody. It's just waiting to see um, the, the theaters built. That is all. Because we've heard this over and over. And I'm very happy last Thursday when he came, he took the opportunity to explain Eddie. some of these things for people to understand. Because he's been bashed several times that he has promised this and he's not delivering and all of that. But he explained that sometimes you have a vision <coughs> And if your boss doesn't buy into it, it becomes very difficult for you to achieve it or, you know, start. And so with that explanation, I believe that people or the industry players have understood him. But I can understand the energy he spoke with because it is something that he still wants to achieve as a deputy minister for the sector, which I support him. I hope this come to um, a success because um, at the end of the day, um, when his name is mentioned as a deputy minister, um, we can't attest to the fact that this 
amphitheater project was his initiative. And like he said, when we are comparing um, those who have been in position as deputy minister, uh, he, he is likely to stand tall if he is able to achieve this. Again, he made a statement that we should create a culture where when a government starts something and leaves power, the next government will finish it. I've listened to um, Uncle Rex Omar. I stand to be corrected either on Accra FM Entertainment Capital or Londoners um, Top Showbiz, where he said we don't even need the amphitheater because even if it rains, then what else? So I I'm wondering if... Um, the government start oh, it. Covered, yes, if the government starts it. If, even if it's not covered, if you've been to sorry, if you've been to Alliance Frances oh, and you've seen how we constantly use the space mm. for our uh, concerts, Charlie. It's, uh, not, it's, I mean, it's a no brainer. It's, 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 Charlie, we, yeah, yeah, please go ahead. No, but for me, uh, you see with what you mentioned, it was something I challenged him. Unfortunately, the, the answer he gave to me, the continuance. Or continuity when it comes to um, projects, projects <coughs> successive governments. That's why I brought up. You remember I brought up the Dubai interchange. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To me, it was left to rot. It was like I even where uh, when it started. I don't know whether you had the opportunity to go see how. The beautiful lights, the yeah. fountains, the yeah. the display. Did you go there? Yeah. I mean, close to my office. I mean, <laughs> so you always passed <laughs> by. Yeah. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. Too busy. Too mm. busy. busy <laughs> it was going on. You know, so I I expected a minister to touch on it that oh okay, A B and C was the reason we couldn't maintain it because it was sad. Each time I visited the place and saw hawkers. And so, I mean, people, how they they misused the place. I'd gone and I, I saw someone urinating and... Yeah, I've seen that couple I'm of like, times. what? Yeah. <laughs> you know get In the water? The, I, huh? Now you know get <laughs> In the water, the statue. <laughs> <laughs> You remember there was there was this comment there was this yeah. advert yeah, yeah. For, uh, for, uh, sure. the late vice president Ali Uma, Uma, a special <laughs> initiative. It, it, it was it was it was for oh okay yeah. okay the yeah. uh, about to, about to, them for about them, yeah, yeah to cause behavior change. <laughs> what about that Mohana <laughs> The guy said <laughs> the guy turned around and saw someone. He said, "Ha, I just about them for adults. Me wa ha kwa about them. I do about them. He said, "I just about them for adults." Yeah. And so for me, I, was, I wasn't very happy with the response. Thinking that a hundred day. Mm. Well, again, it had always come up with that thing. Um, sometimes they were, uh, we've seen abandoned projects. A lot of abandoned projects. Mm. Oh? Yeah. Hey. So it's a good call. But the question is, will it continue? If a few months. Let me say months. Yes. No, that, that you're saying assuming. Assuming. There's change of, um, change if of there is change of government, mm -hmm. will it continue? Even if it will, what what shows that? I mean, it had happened <coughs> to me with with previous um, um, gov governments where mm -hmm. oh NDC about mostly we MP before they start and MP before but they say NDC for the year and they leave it to rot, just like Yeah, that. I, I get you. I mean, like... There MPP should have been some power. agency attached yes. to, to the project. Exactly. Because so even, even if... Take it like, it's not even about somebody winning after after this election. And it's even this government. I mean, the, the, the cost of the project goes up. Looking at the, I mean, the, the economic situation. In 2013, the time the sword was cut... That time the budgets 2023. 2023. The budgets was there. Check the exchange rate at the time. Compared to now the dollar exchange rate. Prices of the 
the, the materials, among other things. Yeah. So, so that's I why. Mean, and it happens to a lot of projects. Yeah, so, so that's that's why I brought in the elements of the project management. Yeah. That it has to be the, the timing. The timing is important, and yeah. then the budgeting is important, yeah. which also affects the quality. Yeah. And these are the three key things you need to manage. Up to certain points, what you need to do, if it is over a particular period, you can even estimate and say add the cost of inflation yeah. annually for things that are yet to be purchased. You add your plus and your manager so that you can factor in extra costs mm -hmm. elements and then you'll be able to get the project done. So when you say that the money was not enough, then you are wondering, okay, so what happened? Yeah. You know, um, uh, yeah, so, uh, All right, Andy, let, let me I, land on he's, he's, yes, yeah. he's flying. <laughs> Quick one. Um, Andy, what baffles me is, is the fact that... Cabrafo! Is the Bafo. fact that um, this is a very good project, very good initiative, but... You know, it's become very difficult for 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 him and the government to achieve it because, look, the government promised us now on Tramondi Theater as I asked him the other time. None has been established, not even one. This coming, this coming on board. Yes, but at least, say come to me, more more than see amphitheaters It will help, because whichever way we need a theater, you know, we we've been talking about the. Poor state of the national theater, and in fact, it, it has to be a, a, a deliberate move to start establishing some of the theater. So, for me in particular, I was very happy when I heard all the region. Um, at that time, it was 10, 10 regions, and apart from national theater, an ultra modern theater will be built in various each region. And so, for me, Coming to the amphitheater promise, and yes, so we've not able to put up one. It's, it's boring. And I understand where it's coming from because some way, somewhere, it might, it might appear to, to, to the industry players or to the sector that he, as a deputy minister, made that promise and he has not been able to fulfill it. But look, um, but I, believe that, a rapper, watch it. I believe that government should also create an enabling environment for private sector to come on board. And also that's created. It's a PPP. It's, that is why it's a I asked. Right that government. is why I asked. So the, that's what I, they do. I, actually, I asked a question about this last Thursday, and I wasn't convinced with the answer he gave because um, government cannot do it alone. And so, if the atmosphere is, cre is created where some of these estate developers, even some of these um, engineers, come on board, some of these private, um, uh, uh, I mean, investors from the private sector come on board to help construct some of these theaters, uh, it would have helped. I don't right. know how government is trying to achieve um, this promise, though. Okay. Quite Andy, please. the MPP is a center-right government. It's, it believes in private you know, involvement. That is why they always talk about public-private partnership. So that don't even go there. That mm -hmm. is what they do. That is basically what they do. Now, the 2016 promise of nine ultra-modern theaters According to Mark, they were not able to fulfill it. They thought they could not fulfill it. That is why he said they should rather go for amphitheaters, which means that they have they were going jettisoned for the, the idea, food, yeah, yes, of the, the idea of the ultra-modern theaters. It means it's not coming back into their plans anytime soon, or even maybe never. <laughs> so, so it's been so, replaced with the amphitheater. Exactly. Maybe you've not listened to him. So, they introduced, he introduced the amphitheaters Amphi because That's he thought the ones they couldn't achieve is not achievable. So now it's the five amphitheaters that we're looking forward to: one in Kumase, one in uh, Accra, one in Takrade, I think one in Tamale, and one in Tema. Mm. These are the ones we're looking forward to. The update he gave us last week when he came here is good, but I'm not enthused about that. I'm just looking forward to seeing an amphitheater constructed or the all the five um, places constructed. Achieved. I've seen pictures of the one in Kumase. They are also, you know, maybe a bit um, the middle or so. They've not gotten to the, uh, the top yet. I've seen pictures of that. I've not seen any picture of a Takrade amphitheater and a construction of a Tema or a Tamale one yet. So, yes... If the money is in, they should use the money for what it's meant for. What, what's meant for. And I'm not looking forward to them finishing this amphitheater or these theaters, you know, within this period from now to maybe December. I'm not sure they can finish. If they are re-elected, they, sh they should continue. If they are not re-elected, the next government sh should take over from there. Now, 
during the debates on creative economy, I asked a question. I asked uh, Rex Omoya a question about continuity of project. And he said, when they come in and they see things that the previous government have, or if they come in and they see things the government has done and that are maybe laudable projects, they will continue. Mm -hmm. So yes, if they come in and they believe that, oh, maybe the amphitheater will serve the industry some good, I'm very sure that they're going to continue because we can't start something and then the next government comes and then neglects it. So we're just looking forward to that. Now, the issue about Okreku Mante's position as a deputy minister and always the talk about he doesn't have the full powers to execute tasks. I I believe him. I, I believe him because obviously he's not the main minister. And so he takes orders from the main minister. Yeah. He's assigned tasks to, uh, to, uh, to do. He assists. He assists. He used the word assists. So I believe him on that score. And he also even mentioned that Sometimes if you are lucky and your main boss agrees or maybe uh, endorses your idea, then the idea will be implemented. I agree. Yeah. Which comes to the fact that I believe once the MPP, the NDC and other political parties are looking forward to cutting down on their ministers, it's about time we did away with the deputy ministerial position because clearly they don't have any power. Why am I saying that? Come to the Ministry of Tourism, Art and Culture. Go to their office. There are directors, there are CEOs. Even within that ministry, they have Director of Creative Arts, Divine Usu mm, Ansa. Yeah. The same ministry, they have Director for Tourism, John Agbeko. Same ministry. Mm. When you go to yeah, the same that? ministry, we have Creative Arts Agency, and there's supposed to be an Executive Secretary. Same ministry. Go to um, Tourism, we have GTA. Boss, we have GTDC. Mm -hmm. Boss, could you entry? Mm -hmm. Come to uh, Commission on Culture. There is a director there, National Theatre, director there, uh, the Memorial Park, director there, Folklore Board, a director there. So it means that even without a deputy minister, one minister directors. can coordinate these people and still work. So instead of we making maybe Okreku Mante that's, deputy minister, that's what it why, don't, in all the why don't we rather make Okreku Mante the main minister so he has the full powers, coordinates with these people in the agencies and the authorities, so he delivers. I believe that moving forward, whichever government takes over the reins of governance uh, starting or from uh, 2025, should think about restructuring the whole ministerial thing because obviously, obviously, the deputy ministers don't really have any power like that. They don't have powers to, to, to do the things that we require from them. It's 103.9 FM. I want us to continue on, on uh, the tourism, arts and culture conversation. Nanakwasi says, the constitution does not make it mandatory for continu continuity of projects. If what Mark meant what he said and to Martinez, eight years in power is way enough to amend or an ally to fix it. Also, popularity of their party is important to them than Ghana's benefits. KK Fosu, the vocal god, he says, and he tell our brother Kriku, the hyping be plenty. I don't know, maybe it was just an the error. Hyping, the hyping or Maybe that's what he was trying to say. He says, we'll question him after Nanado's office. I was there the second round when a plus called him to hound us the second round. I said, remember the, what does that mean? So, almost sounded like um, they were called to throw in their support for um, second round. Maybe he says, I just listened to an ad from one political party, but still the value is the same. When a certain president is in power, he doesn't think of Ghanaians, but they are party members. Shikome one says, please, can he call Tiny to explain his words? Because I think <laughs> his is super elective gun. <laughs> Robert Akofa has some about elective. Mafote Wimo. Mafote Wimo. Ijalawa. No bete. No bete. What is that one? Do I know? Mafote Wimo. No bete. 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 Tiny. <laughs> you know his name used to be Tiny Fresh. 
No, Kalawe yeah, Benjamin yeah. says he's been everywhere blaming Apietus and others for the studio failure, but now wants all the praise for uncompleted whatsoever, whatever theatres. Um, Oboku yeah, Esio says, Adam, I like your top. When should I come for it, please? You should bring one and come for this. <laughs> Oba, not the Exchange bar. is but, no but, but, Yeah, but respond Exchange to... Exchange is no robbery. When? Oh, when? Adam, where are you? You're ready. Where are you? I'm naked. I'm naked. Adam, where are you? I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm naked. Where are you there? Where are you there? I'll go meet you and make the world. I'll go bring you. I was the Adam. Where are you there? Just give me your location. Adam, when? They did. They say when you are. Simple question. Adam, how many ladies did you talk to? My phone was off. So, how many ladies did you speak with there? As MC, I give the mic Not to as alone. MC, you there. Uh, oh, my phone was off, so I couldn't take you. Okay, how many ladies did you exchange contacts with? Oh. It was a key to that, that question you still have to answer. Thank you very much. Listeners, Kwame Dazi just mentioned something about no, why not making Okrekumante the main minister? Of course. Then he spoke about the role as deputy minister. Check it. You are asked. Or even now, if you are asked as a tourism minister, mm -hmm. what have you done? What will be your answer or answer? Yeah. Boy, oh, uh, saying that, Abra is my boy. Abra I, is my I boy. am the worst deputy minister ever in that ministry. So now that you give me the opportunity, the roles of the ministers and the, it is all in the 1992 constitution. But I see that people are using emotions to speak. As a law student, LLB, I speak with law now. So now, I quote. That is my orientation now. That's why I say, check for me. I don't want to quote wrongly. The deputy minister's role is actually uh, somebody who goes in there to support the main minister. So yeah, your job... So your driver's mate. Ah, that is why I released a statement and said that what Dr. Baumia is saying that as vice president, people should not take it for granted and underrate it. All. Even the NDC people, they know. When... Uh, ex, uh, ex president, yeah, ex president John Mahama. When he was vice president, on general, you, you, you can only that is why, even the things I'm going to talk about, what I have done, I can only speak and say that I only influence my boss, I only convince my boss. And in the hierarchy of Ubi Awaiyajmo organization, Ubi you know that even in multimedia, that's how it works. When I was your boss. You couldn't do what you like without me. Mm. I agree before it happens. It will come agrees before I do it. It will come will only uh, do something when the constitution says it should happen. That's how it works. It is all your feeling by sitting at home or having a microphone and speaking. Every organizational structure, there's something called chain of command, span of control. And so this thing about, oh, the, the, it is the deputy minister. It's the deputy minister. What has he done? Is the deputy minister, what has he done? You should be asking questions like, what has your ministry done? What has your government done? Not what you, the deputy minister, have done. Because the deputy minister does not have power to do. This is Pits. Weekday mornings with Andy Dusty. And that was deputy minister for arts, uh, tourism, arts and culture, Michael Kikumanti. Uh, Kwame, let me get back to you again. So you heard him. Yes, Andy. I said this you earlier raised on. It, yes. Yeah, earlier on that, you know, I believe him that he doesn't have the full power to, you know, perform Perfect. the functions that we expect from him. So, yes, if we really want to see the powers that our people have, if we really want to experience them well, then we should make them the main ministers, not deputy ministers. And even by extension, we should scrap the deputy ministerial position to me. Mm. To save cost, right? Oh, exactly. Okay, Adam, quick, quick, quick. Time loading. Uh, for me, the, I know that as mini deputy ministers, if you look at how our constitution has carved it, clearly they, they play a supportive role to them. They, they are substantive ministers. And there is no too much, especially when the relation, you do not have that rapport with your minister. I mean, there is little you can do as a deputy minister. And for that reason, it doesn't also mean that if you, you say something or give a promise, you should not be held accountable by your own words. Because, I mean, what has been the back and forth are some of his own words, like the uh, the studio, the theaters. and So he should accept that it's as a result of, I mean, 
a re- it is a reaction to some of his actions. So, I mean, it's normal. It's normal. Thank you, Rob. So he dropped some filler in what he said. We shouldn't be asking what has the deputy minister done. We should be asking what has your ministry done. Done. And for me, I think a while back when we spoke about Mark, um, the deputy minister and, and his role and everything, I clearly mentioned that Charlie, for, for as long as he's not a substantive, they are, I mean, he's playing a supporting role. And the supporting role, there's absolutely, um, there's a limit to what he can do. I mean, you can only do what that which you're permitted to do, so to say. So that goes to say that we should be heavily focused on holding the ministry accountable. accountable. What are your plans for us this year? What have you achieved after three months or after six months? I've been asking for this and I keep saying it until you actually make it happen. Maybe we should be doing state of the ministry affairs or address of some sorts every six months or every three months. Something just so that we are clear on what they want to achieve for the year and we have feedback on, on what, have, what, what, has, what has happened so far. And, you know, plans in place to be able to take us to the next level. These are the things we ought to be doing and we need to find ways and means to to sort of get the accountability that is required. I mean, if we if we don't do that, then we are just allowing people to take us for a ride. But it is a constitutional requirement to actually hold these people accountable. And I don't think anybody who understands everything as a constitution requires would say no to it. We need to be able to do that. And we, need, we should be asking the questions. Let's forget about Mark. Let's forget about names. Let's go in there and ask the people within the office, what have they done? And if they are not up to task, we know exactly what to do. Exactly. Matthias, please round it all up. Yes, I'll, I'll be very happy to see Mark become the, the minister for tourism at Mkwacha. I mean, not the deputy, but the main boss. Before the election or after the election? After the election. come to got trapped if they, there. If, if they retain the seat. Um, but, Kwame, well, what you said, I am looking at it from this angle. Because the sector is very broad. I think the pick someone from the tourism um, department and then get another from the arts. So I, I believe that someone like Dr. Awa probably um, focus mainly, that's how I see it, focus then, mainly on the, on, the, on, the, on the tourism. But there are directors of creative arts. There is a creative art agency head. So you don't necessarily need to be somebody who has a 360 degrees you know what? of knowledge of the entire industry before you Kwame, maybe we need to do this we need to pick all the various positions and find out what exactly are their rules exactly and see the du- uh, you know which of yeah. them are being duplicated and yeah you exactly know. so because if you have the creative arts head what the yes. person supposed to do and if you, have you have a director they have a director what the person is supposed to like each one of these elements we probably need to table it just so that even when we have questions we know exactly who to Where call to go and then i am um, if you are asking for accountability who exactly we are going to call I I think we are doing ourselves a lot of disservice by not making or ensuring that these roles are well spelled out. Exactly. We need to do that. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. Mo- most of us, sometimes I listen to radio and some of the programs and like, have you asked? Do you hear someone talk about it? Da, 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 da. I mean, it, there's nothing wrong with, oh, I'm sorry, I have no knowledge about it. So can it rest? Sometimes you say it, it becomes so damaging to a larger extent that it will be very difficult for you to come back and correct it. Mm. So just as you've you've suggested, it will be appropriate if we get to know who is doing what and why they are even there. Sharp. And 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 some yeah. some and of and the and rules and overlap. Clearly. When you go on the Mota website, mm-hmm. right. all the agencies are there and their rules are there, mm. spelt out yes. clearly. So let's do but that. some of them will overlap. Yeah. Center for Commission on Culture, Folklore Board, all the, I the think question some is, of them need to be merged, actually. So are what, they performing? The, the only reason why we can... We can are they doing what do they are required to do? we are able to appreciate their roles. We have a whole creative arts agency mm-hmm. and we have, commi- uh, we have a national film authority mm-hmm. under it. Mm-hmm. What if uh, people from the music side also say, that, okay, we also need a music authority. The music authority, yeah. Or painting authority. Yeah. So you see the whole yeah. thing. So, yeah. so, so, so there is an act for the film people alone. Mm-hmm. There is one for the entire creative arts industry do we have one for music? No. Do we have one for dance? Do we want have one for fashion? We don't. So you see how the whole system is. Uh, the structure is a bit unstructured. Kwame, with the with the concern you've just raised, is that not the reason why some are even of the view that we should separate the art from tourism and and have its ministry? When you look at the 
creative economy model. It all forms part. C culture, arts, tourism, all these for for under the same um, umbrella. Check, yes, check creative outside. economy documents uh, heritage and uh, tourism they are part of it so to me if we separate it it wouldn't even solve any problem like that what to make it more effective is to make sure the people that serve as directors under they have rules well spelled out no and they are and empowered and empowered to to take action exactly. to make things happen it's not about you know how many people are ministers at the ministry <laughs> i don't Who's think that works me? But I, I don't think that works. Or uh, whether the person is from our industry. Even if you have somebody from our industry and the person knows our industry, that person must have extra knowledge in other things. Governance, public administration, and all that. Not just because, oh, mm. So if you are a creative and you want to assume a position in, in government or in governance, you need to upgrade and take some courses, other courses, apart from the music you learned, or the film you lent, learn other things like administration, like marketing, like business and all that to shore up your knowledge base and all. So, yeah, basically, I, I, Martinez, I don't think we, we need one minister for tourism, another one for art, another one for culture, because the people that they're going to work with who are under them hold the same portfolios. Same portfolios. So if you have one minister for culture, one for art, one for tourism, what are you going to do with Akwesia Jiman GTA and Commission on Culture and uh, the Agency for Creative Arts? But check this out. Akwesia Jiman <laughs> is not a minister. And he's not a minister. He's and he's, delivering. But he's working. Exactly. He's working. He's delivering. You know. So, to be he's working. So empower the other agencies under the ministry. So we need and to empower work. the systems and get the systems working. It's very, very important. Well, Ola Michael has sent me a message. I find it very interesting. Ola Michael says, Senior, good morning. Excuses are clutches of failures. Very elective English. Is that all that he wrote? He says I should read it. Elect oh, yes. Elective English. No, no, no. You see, see, we've heard excuses. And I've even heard Baba Sadiq say that he agrees that Mark wouldn't be able to um, show his full potential as mm. a deputy minister. Mm. Even Sadiq has said that. And you see, in the event that we change government. And let's say the NEC, NEC comes to power. We will experience the same thing if we appoint an industry person as a deputy minister. Mm. Same thing. It happened during... during Unless... During, it happened during Abdullah Gomashi and Ufosu time. I understand you. I understand you. That's what I'm they saying. challenges. Good. Unless at the end of the day, you have shared responsibilities in terms of the task, what is supposed to be accomplished, and person A... Is I'm in charge of this, but I'm giving you one, two, three, four, five to handle. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Like a portfolio, yeah. like in you know, an account. This yeah. is these are your responsibilities yeah. and I hold you accountable yeah. and I'm responsible for this, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I mean it's So me clear. I agree with Ola with the uh, uh, what the excuse this bit. bit. I agree with him that we've had that over over time. You know, Mark will come and tell us this, our will come and tell us that and all that. And I agree that once they promise, they must deliver. But I don't think it's solely a mark issue. It's the government's issue. The government's in power. They are not delivering. For all you know, Mark is pulling. It is not pulling. For mm. all you know, he's pulling. He's not pulling. <laughs> he doesn't have the powers to make it pull. Yeah, but I mean, clearly, when you listen to him, you go, you go here. Exactly. So, Read between the so lines. Let, let's not make this an <laughs> MPP issue. Because if the tables turn tomorrow and the NDC comes to power, and we don't solve the underlying problems, the same thing will, will happen again. On that note, I want to thank all of you for coming. But first... Let me see who's won my money. Let me see who's won my money. Uh, Emmanuel Samson is my winner for today. Okay, Emmanuel is not here yet. Star 281 Ash. Adam didn't win, unfortunately. Adam. <laughs> I, I was waiting for you to mumu me. Ah. Charlie, I'm going to get 1,000 CDs. I'm going to get 1,000 CDs. I'm going to get 1,000 CDs. Why didn't you say who's who, baby? I'm going to get 1,000 CDs. I'm going to get 1,000 CDs. I'm going to get 1,000 CDs.